Turn your Mixcast 4 into a dual USB monster? Sort of. I'm Hank from Free Podcast Tools, and this time we're going to take the Tascam Mixcast 4 and we're going to, in a roundabout way, add a second USB connection to it. So first, I went to Amazon and I purchased this device. It is a USB to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter. Then I took my TRRS cable, plugged it into that device, plugged that device into a spare USB port on my computer, and we were off to the races. So now my computer recognizes the Mixcast 4 as one audio sound source, as well as this TRRS to USB device. So what's the use case? Well, consider bringing in two guests on two different voice over IP services, say one guest on Zoom or Skype and the other one on Discord or Melon App or something like that. That way, if you don't have a spare tablet or a spare cell phone like I do permanently attached to the desk and you don't want to tie up your personal phone, it's a good way to bring in a second guest on their own channel. And if you're recording on multi-track to the SD card, later you can manipulate those files separately. Instead of connecting to two co-hosts in this manner, here's what I use it for. The Mixcast 4 USB channel, I like to connect with whoever my remote guest or co-host is. And then with the second USB setup, I can connect that to my Skype in. Skype in is a service in which you get a phone number that you could give out to an audience and they could call in from their cell phone and you can take it as a call just like you're running your own talk radio show. So it's a really cool service, and that's the way I use it, and that would be my use case for this. The second idea for a use case is I need to bring in audio for my PC. I do a lot of TV fan podcasts and movie reviews, so I want to be able to play audio from those shows right into the stream. Now on the Mixcast 4, you can't do that typically without turning off the mix minus. But if you turn off the mix minus, then your remote guest is going to hear themselves back along with the sounds from your computer. So this way I can bring in those sounds on the channel and then just mute it when not in use. Very convenient. And again, without tying up your cell phone, a tablet, or what have you. And not everybody has extra devices. And even if they do, a lot of people don't want to use them in their production. They just want an all-in-one unit. So for me, those would be the two use cases. So to give a little quick demonstration, I'm going to bring in some YouTube copyright safe music. And this is coming to us over that secondary USB. So I can take the fader and write it up. Or I could fade it on out. And you, could, you could implement this into your show and you could be talking and just fade it right on out. And then on the other channel, while that one's got the fader all the way down, I'll bring up just the Skype test. So you hear that coming through and then we could bring the music back in. So we have me, the music, and that as long as I don't have ducking turned on. So let's get rid of that annoying sound and the music. If I had the ducking turned on, obviously that would impact those signals and such. I don't have that on at this time, but it's just simply an idea that you could use for those use cases. I'm sure you could come up with other use cases for that, but those are the two use cases that I would have. However, there are some hiccups. First, I can hear a slight hum in the signal unless I mute it. So I can just tell that there is something else going on with that channel. Even though there really shouldn't be, I can hear just a slight hum coming in that shouldn't be there. Not sure what that's about. I do have like 12 USB ports and everything. So I have tons of different devices all connected via USB to the computer. So there's definitely going to be some interference there, I would assume. But I did want to point that out, that there is a noticeable hum on that channel. And another caveat, just like the Rodecaster Pro 2, 
when you start introducing multiple USBs, then your computer and most certainly these voice over IP services or live streaming services are all starting to vie for different stuff. So one time I had it turned on and Skype wanted the Mixcast 4 and OBS wanted that USB device and I wanted to switch them. So I switched them and then the next time I come back, it can be different and such like that. So just like the Roadcaster Pro 2, you have to keep an eye on that because it can create an issue from time to time. Because if you're expecting something to be on one fader and it's on another fader, that can be a problem. So I always go in and check the settings and make sure I have it set correctly. Hey, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. My Tascam firmware 1.30 video should be out Thursday, July 21st, 2022, in case you're watching this in the future. And weirdly enough, they've already announced what's in the firmware update. So it's primarily about TalkBack expansion. I cannot wait to talk about that. I've been keeping a lid on it, but apparently they haven't. So I expect that video soon. Is this a perfect solution? Most certainly not. Is it something that could help you out in a pinch if you didn't have any alternative? Definitely. And I could see myself doing this. Um, I do have other phones. I have about four or five cell phones, three of which are definitely out of service that I could tie up and use with Skype or Discord or something like that to play back music and all that kind of stuff. I definitely have old equipment lying around cell phone wise and tablet wise that I could connect to Bluetooth or via TRRS without that adapter and I could play back music and take phone calls and stuff like that. But if you don't have that luxury, then this is a viable option. Just beware of the extra noise that's going to be added in the noise floor. Do you have another use case that you could see this being good for? Does the lack of having the ability to route each of those channels hurt this concept for you? Chime in in the comments down below. Thank you.